So now we're going to practice Surya Namaskar. C. So Surya Namaskar is a beautiful opportunity to welcome in a day and to honor the sun. The sun is that which supports all of life on this planet, that gives everything on this planet it needs to survive. So it's the light that sheds upon the darkness. It's the light that um, we can celebrate. So Surya Namaskar. Surya means sun and Namaskar is like a greeting or a salutation. Surya Namaskar C is I think a little bit nicer on the body, especially when you're getting familiar with yoga. So I'd like to teach you that one. What I'm going to do now is break it down and hold the poses for longer so that you can see all the elements of the structure. And then in the next video, we'll go through Surya Namaskar as a one breath, one movement flow. So for now, let's begin in downward facing dog. So the hands on the earth, feet as well, hips up, and let your head hang down. Always nice to kind of start in downward facing, just for a chance to open up the body. Usually you'll come in here from like a beginning sequence. And we're facing dog, one more breath in. And then from here, we're just going to walk to the top of the mat and have your feet hips distance apart so that the feet are just underneath your hips, the toes are on the floor spreading. And just melt your head down. From here, inhale your hands to your hips and come up flat back. So this is where we would begin the Surya Namaskar, the top of the mat, feet on the floor, grounded, hands at the heart, shoulders relax. Close your eyes for a moment and offer your sankalpa, your intention for practice, maybe a prayer, a sense of gratitude. And then open your eyes. The first movement is inhale, arms up overhead. So here the palms face each other. The shoulders wrap kind of like away from the ears. And you can see your inner arms. So the arms aren't too far back. You can actually see your inner arms on the corner of your eye. Tailbone is lengthening down. The chest is lifting up and the sides of the waist are reaching longer. Exhale, hands out wide, full forward. So you want to flat back here, put a little bend in the knees if you need to, draw the chin in, and then lower your head. Hands come to the floor. From here you're going to inhale, step the right foot back, and lower the back knee. What's important here is that the knee is over the ankle, yeah, and that the whole front foot is on the ground. The back foot toes can be up, or down, it doesn't matter. You'll see you need choices as you move through the flow. So then this is the inhale. You have this nice deep lunge. Just open it up for a couple more breaths. The back leg is stretching. You're getting a psoas stretch on the right side. That front hip is getting into flex uh, flexion and you're sinking down. Good. Now from here, hands to the earth, tuck the back toe under, and press back into downward facing dog. Holding downward facing dog, you want the inner ankles to feel lifted as much as the outer ankles. The whole hand pressing into the floor and the shoulders relaxing away from the ears. Drop your head. Good. You're going to come forward onto your knees. And then dive your heart, but keep the spine pretty much engaged, the belly engaged. You want to dive your heart forward towards the floor, the chest drops down, and then the chin. Shoulders stay back. The belly is up. And then tops of the feet press down. And then the pubic bone presses down. And then here, keep the hands on the floor. Roll the shoulders back for cobra. So we're going to look at cobra for a few moments. Here, the shoulder heads are lifted up and back, away from the floor, away from the ears. 
The crown of the head is reaching on the diagonal with the spine, so it's not cuffed up and it's not drooping down. Find length. Now the tailbone grounds down towards the heels and your legs are engaged. You're reaching all the way through both feet down to the toes. Press the hands into the floor and feel you're kind of pulling the heart forward to get that lift up to the chest. Elbows slightly hug in towards the midline. From here, tuck the toes under. Exhale, press into those hands, keep the belly lifted, and then all the way back into downward facing. And let your head completely go. Inner thighs lifting, cubic bone reaching through the inner thighs to the sky. Now on your next inhale, you're gonna step the foot between the hands. That's a big giant step. If it doesn't make it all the way, grab the ankle and kind of hop it up right underneath the knee and lower the back knee. So you have this beautiful lunge. You can lift your gaze, lift your heart. Good. Couple more breaths here to make sure you have your alignment. The knee is above the ankle. The whole front foot is grounded. The ball and the heel, right and left. The back toe can be down or up but we're gonna need it tucked under when we step forward. So here, this is the exhale. You step to the top of your mat. Check out your feet, make sure they're hips distance apart. And then that same alignment that you began with and then lower your head. That's all the exhale. You're going to inhale, bend the knees and reach the arms up. And then exhale, straighten the legs and bring your hands to your heart. Those are the elements of Surya Namaskar C, and now we'll do it in a flow. 